Hey everyone, welcome to part four of the pontoon restoration. Now, last video, I took off the old panels from the fencing on the pontoon and I installed a deck and repainted the uh, fence frame. Now this week, I am putting the new panels on, which gives this pontoon a much more updated look. Uh, those old uh, yellow 1970s panels just uh, just weren't cutting it for me, so. Uh, I got some a new color, better fits my my style, if you know me. Um, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so I got my painted uh, frame here, the first one I'm gonna be doing up on the deck here, and then I, uh, I'm rolling out the new panel material. Now this is a, a thicker material. Now it's somewhere between um, 1 16th and 1 32nd of an inch thick. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, right in between there. And then this is aluminum, painted aluminum. Uh, it'll, it's gonna look real sharp. <laughs> Speaking of sharp, make sure if you are working uh, with this material, say you're doing a project uh, yourself, restoring your pontoon or whatever uh, you might be doing with this sheet metal stuff, wear gloves, uh, the edges are real sharp. You know, you could get cut and that'd be bad. <laughs> Now for the first piece I'm doing is a, the biggest piece I had. Um, I'm starting by clamping the panels in place here, getting it all lined up that it's gonna be all um, equal all the way down. And then I gotta kinda worry about this uh, real sharp curve, uh, the corner piece. Now this is a little difficult to get this corner all situated. I ended up using all the clamps that I had um, in, in uh, the next, uh, segment here I ended up going out and buying more clamps but once I got that corner uh, clamped down I measured everything out um, came up with a formula to keep everything on center and lined up with the frame underneath it and then uh, just started the very arduous task of drilling out the holes for the rivets and um, riveting it down now I knew that I, I hate working with sheet metal and I hate working with rivets and that and um, I do have a hand riveter but uh, with the amount of rivets that this is going to take uh, I opted to go get a pneumatic rivet gun and I can't say uh, enough good things about it. Now I, I just got the cheap one um, from Harbor Freight and uh, it works it works great so if you're doing a project like this you know the little things like a, a rivet gun or whatever might make it a lot more <laughs> enjoyable a lot faster now some things to consider when riveting down this panel material you always want to start where um, your bend is and i started right in the middle um, and then you're going to want to work your way from the center out to the edges and that's going to help prevent any um, ripples or bows or bends, anything that uh, waviness that might form in the metal. Um, if you work from the center out to the edges, then you're not gonna trap any extra material and you can kind of smooth that out as you get towards that edge. Now I've got all the center uh, rivets into the panel. I wanted to start putting the trim around the edges. Now I contemplating not even putting any of this trim around but um, the trim is, is necessary to keep um, your hands or whatever protected if you're to grab onto that rail so you don't get cut by the sharp edge of the sheet metal. Um, the stuff I use, it's called GIMP trim or RV trim. Um, all it is is like a, it looks like a real uh, thin vinyl Y material that goes on either side and then you just kind of um, put it all over the edge and rivet it in place. So I got a little bit of a learning curve uh, yet with this uh, trim and as you see this this is supposed to protect um, protect us from that metal that sharp metal sheet metal edge but it sticks out a little bit and I don't know if I really like that um, on this side it's okay I held it back from you know back from the edge here and the, the corner corner turned out all right it's not perfect but yeah really on the top it kind of sticks out a little ways <laughs> and that's gonna sit on that railing um, and we really just didn't have enough room if you can see we're flush with the bottom even if we might even be sticking out just the hair um, 
it's all you know 30 inch material is what it's supposed to be and the the railings were about 30 inches a little less it looks like um, yeah I don't know we'll just keep going I might have to trim this stuff down a quarter inch that would be a real pain in the ass but that's what I got to do now running that trim along this uh, corner piece there the really the tight radius um, the sheet metal was so tight on there it was really hard to get that pushed into place and uh, I'm not sure if I got a better solution I didn't really want to put a tool in there um, to that would that would scratch it up or bend it just so I could get that trim in place but I ended up getting it in um, I did scratch it a tiny bit I used a, a screwdriver just to give me a little bit of more um, clearance but um, it's in so the next time the next piece is I think I'm just gonna uh, maybe not uh, maybe put the trim in place before I rivet down that one edge I don't know not a not a great solution for this um, but this is uh, yeah it, it ended up turning out pretty good now when I got to the end here uh, one thing you can do with sheet metal that you can't really do with other um, metals is uh, you can score a line a straight line with just a, a razor knife or utility knife and um, kind of flex that panel to break it in a straight line it's a lot easier than trying to run a snips the whole way um, and then I just took a just a sheet metal snips um, to, to cut that radius in the, where the, in the corner um, where the doors and uh, meet so yeah, that, uh, that gives us a nice little rounded edge and um, it gives us a nice square and flat uh, cut down the, the long side. Alright, so I got one of the big pieces done. Now I'm going to work on a smaller piece and a couple of doors. And um, this went a lot smoother. I got all the kinks worked out, I think, with that big piece. And a couple weeks actually had passed um, since doing the big piece when I'm working on these little pieces. I took most of June off to go camping um, and had a pretty good time. So yeah, these little pieces, yeah, a lot, a lot smoother. I think I got uh, everything figured out how to do these uh, a lot quicker. Now the most satisfying part of it all, like peeling off a new uh, screen protector from a new phone. Here comes uh, the plastic. I really hope you enjoyed this series. If you do, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.